Welcome to the jungle castle keep that I've built here in uh, Ark Valguero. This is the castle keeps and forts mod, I believe, that I'm using for most of my building now, and uh, along with S+. And this isn't finished, but um, th and this is going to be more than just a quick tour. My greenhouse never got finished. I never got lights inside. I didn't get my full setup going on inside. But I really like this castle keeps, castles, keeps, and forts um, mod. Um, I'm using some other mods too. There's uh, all these trees and things out here are from a different mod, as is the water. But uh, the thing that this main mod that I'm using, Castle Keeps and Forts, um, it has a lot of battlements um, that you can use. So crenellations and arrow loops and murder holes. I can't remember the official terms for all of those, but um, but you saw at my entrance, and we'll go back out to it, um, there's a lot of ways that someone could be somewhat protected and still shoot an intruder or a potential intruder. Um, now, I play single player, and um, it, it's on my own server, so I don't really have to worry about other players. My builds are never really um, what you would call um, compatible with playing a, a PvP mode. Um, there's so much more to think about if you're doing PvP in ARC. Um, so, so these aren't necessarily like that. What I try to do is build somewhat realistic um, castles or keeps, but with some kind of fantasy or some, you know, some uh, where physics aren't really involved. You know, I don't have to worry about things falling and not being supported properly by, by essentially rocks. You know, so I, I can, I have some uh, poetic license, you might say. Um, and so I use that a little bit. I try to make it fairly realistic, but also suit my purposes. Um, this build, again, like my last keep here on Valguero, was not ideal. Um, it was smaller than what I thought it was going to be. So I was going to, I was going to be able to get the greenhouse going. I just decided to move on and build a more suitable um, castle. But this location is really hard to get to by land. So it's a bit of a flyer own base. Uh, and I designed it with that in mind, but it still wasn't quite big enough to do what I wanted it to do. Um, and, and so it was a lot of time spent for nothing, essentially, other than just to... I, I really like these entrances. And the idea is to land here, and if an enemy landed there, then you'd have a way to shoot at them and things like that, if you had friends, essentially. But then you could just walk in... Uh, you could also drain, drop off like a Dodiceros or Ankylosaurus or whatever and, and walk them in. And the idea was that that would be an armory in there. And then you could just walk right out the other side and take off again without having to turn around. So it's kind of a drive-through garage for flyers, if you will. And um, But it, it, the uh, what I would call the aviary was a little bit too high up. It was too far removed from the armory. So you'd be having to fly out, park your Argentavi up there and uh and then fly down and and pick things up and it, it was it was just kind of a mess so we're gonna fly over to my new castle and uh and i'll show you guys that at a later date so thanks for watching